I grew sponges in my garden this year. It's starting to frost, so the day has finally come for me to harvest my loofahs. I planted two loofah seedlings this year, and it took over most of my garden bed, extended to our deck railing, and all the way around. I definitely underestimated how much space it needed, but I ended up harvesting 15 full-grown loofahs. I left one hanging to see just how tolerant it will be during the frost in October, and two which are not even close to full-grown to see if they'll grow more in cooler weather. It's my first year growing these in Buffalo, New York, so not the perfect place for something with such a long growth. Period. Ideally, you'd let these dry out on the vine. Unfortunately, I didn't start them soon enough this year, so I didn't get to that point, so I'm harvesting them green. I cut each end off and then cut them in half just to make it a little more manageable. I used a plastic spatula and later a plastic scraper to peel the skin off and then put it in my sink filled with warm water. Then I basically just squeezed it a lot to get the inside pulp and seeds out. I'm not gonna lie, my hands hurt so much after processing all of these, but once most of the pulp